Hey everybody, we are back with another tip here for Monday Night Tips. And uh, this is in response to a question posted by Tom McClurg about vibrato. So we're going to try to uh, cover a little bit about that. So, uh, you know, vibrato changes from style to style depending on the era and the genre. Uh, vibrato adds uh, character and a more singing-like quality to your sound. So we're going to give you some ideas on how to correctly execute the vibrato. And just a, a little warning because this happened to me many years ago. Uh, playing with vibrato can be habit forming. So be aware of this and use it only when necessary. Yeah, that's great advice. We've all sat next to uh, some people that seemingly can never turn off the vibrato and uh, and also maybe just has the uh, the same vibrato throughout, regardless of style of music or the era of music that uh, we're playing. So um, we're going to talk about a few different ways to execute vibrato. But uh, unfortunately, you know, this being a shorter uh, tips, Monday night tips video, we're going to keep it uh concise and we're going to talk about the methods of how to execute the different types of vibratos um, and not necessarily give uh, examples of that. So the first one I'd like to start with is the hand vibrato and what's great about this is it doesn't displace your chops, you're not um, manipulating anything here, you're moving your hand and we'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, some great examples of that, Doc Severinsen, um, from what I understand, Alan Vizzuti only uses a hand vibrato and uh, he's able to change up the speed, the depth, and uh, I guess how aggressive it is as well, be it a sawtooth type of uh, sound where it's really jagged uh, peaks and valleys or a more smooth kind of uh, sine wave um, shape to the vibrato. So there are some variables uh, involved there. Yeah, now one of the ways uh, I had a, well, let me, let me back up. I had a real hard time learning to use hand vibrato. I started with, with uh, the mouth vibrato, but when I started using the hand vibrato, I could not get it to go. And so one of the things I think that happens to people um, is that when we're playing, we'll leave our wrist loose and your horn really won't shake it won't pull so there's a kind of a backwards back and forth back and forth motion that needs to happen so for me this is the way i do it i keep my wrist basically locked and i use my elbow as the fulcrum here so i'm just pulling it back and forth and back and forth so this whole thing is moving none of this kind of weirdness because it's really hard to control it and and it's hard to even get it to go uh, with that now paul you do it a little bit differently right I, I do. I, I actually do keep my wrist uh, loose because um, I, I feel for me, if I if I use my whole arm, I'm using too much pressure. Um, and that's just because I probably haven't practiced it as much um, to get that technique down. So what I do is, um, I guess I'll turn this way, is I, I have my thumb right here on my first valve casing. And I think of pushing the horn away from my chops and then just allowing it to come back to that neutral position so it, it's kind of like like this with my thumb so there's a couple of ideas of how to use uh, and execute hand vibrato yeah and this is something that it takes some doing it takes some practice you know um, let's just talk a, a couple uh, about a couple of things too and you mentioned this earlier paul we have the speed and the depth of the vibrato. So depending on the era, which we won't get into all this stuff, but you have classical music, you have big band uh, swing era music, we have more modern jazz, this and that. Um, they're all different, they all have different speeds and the speed has to do with the era, but it also has to do with the tempo of the music in certain genres. Same with the depth. Um, there are things that you may want a little more shimmery and bright and brilliant and other things that you might want a little more low keyed and intimate. So those are the things that make this really unique. So that's something to practice with at different tempos. So for a more intimate type of vibrato, you can use what's called the the jaw vibrato or the maybe in some cases the, the chin or the lip even vibrato. Uh, With this type of vibrato, 
Um, I typically use it for ballads and, you know, more intimate types of playing, but it's more of a yaw, 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 yaw type of feel where I'm opening and closing my jaw. Um, but it's, I, for me, I got to try to keep that minimum at a very minimum so that I, I don't displace my embouchure because this is one of the problems I think uh, that a lot of uh, people experience utilizing this jaw vibrato. So, and for me, I uh, like to use a tongue vibrato. Uh, as Bobby mentioned, the ya ya ya. So I, I'll try to not displace my, my chin and, and jaw or, or my chops and just sort of keep those in place. And, and inside my mouth, I'm saying ya 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 with my tongue. And um, as Bobby mentioned as well, we wanna be able to control the speed and the depth um, and, and maybe, as I mentioned also earlier, um, the sort of aggressiveness or, or lack of aggressiveness in that. And for me, I feel like I can really control that a lot because, you know, we all practice lip flexibilities and I use my tongue quite a bit for that. Ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. So this is just a much shallower version of that same sort of thing. I think the cool thing about the tongue vibrato, one, one is it's not really spoken about very much that that I see out there. And two, it bridges this gap between this brilliant type of, of vibrato and an Im intimate vibrato as well. It's something that kind of crosses both those boundaries and it doesn't displace your chops. So there's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we have a lot more we can say on this, but this will get you started. Work with a metronome, uh, emulate some of your great, uh, your favorite players, check them out and uh, enjoy practicing this and let us know how it goes for you.